Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm very excited today because we are doing an unboxing for a quarterly box that I'm very, very excited about. But before I get into that, please excuse how oily my face looks right now. I just took a shower, I did all of my skincare, and in the process of all of that, this package showed up and I was so excited that I had to drop everything and film this video. Also, also, um, if you are interested in my giveaway for a brand new signed copy of Wave by Samantha Kolesnik, that um, giveaway will be live on my Instagram, at Violet Prin, um, for the next couple of days, so please take a look at that if you are interested in this giveaway. And now, it is time to do our, I guess it's December 2021's Persephone Light Co. Winter Folklore Unboxing Box moments, whatever you want to call it. Uh, for those of you guys who do not know, uh, the Persephone Light Co. Quarterly Box is a um, subscription box dedicated primarily to candles. Persephone Light Co. is a candle company, but they partner with a bunch of uh, little like bookish small businesses and do include a books and do include a book in this box. Um, each um, quarter's box price varies depending on what's going in the box um, and they are done by seasons. So I've done spring, summer, and fall. This will be my first ever winter unboxing. I did miss the first box she ever did. So this is technically the fifth box that has been released. Um, there was a massive delay on this box. Um, it was supposed to come at the end of December of 2021, but I know that the owner, it is a one woman run shop. She did get COVID at one point and there were some issues with supply chain. So we are getting it at the end of February and it is a winter folklore box. It was going to be more Christmas oriented originally, but I do know that she reformulated the box to be less Christmas and more winter focused. Um, I'm not sure how much this box cost me off the top of my head because I'm fairly certain I ordered it in like September. <laughs> um, whenever I did my last um, video for the autumn unboxing is when I ordered this and I will link that video up above. That box blew me away. I'm really, really excited for this. She was very transparent about her delays and everything that was happening. So as long as the company is very open about why there's delays in packaging and shipping and all of that, I'm totally okay with that. But I'm very excited to finally get to this box. So enough of my rambling and let's open this up. Okay, so we have the box as always. Persephone Light Co. just beautiful packaging. I'm always so impressed with what they have. We start with this little letter which has her um, moth logo on it as a wax seal. Y'all know I love stationery. Okay, so this month's theme is old winter folklore. We have a nice little note from the owner. Um, I believe her name is Sarah. And then we have our little spoiler card which I will go through in a bit. And then we have this pretty moon crystal sticker and this itty bitty Christmas Santa ghost that is hilarious. <laughs> kind of reminds me of like the no feet ghost from Beetlejuice. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay, so next. Let's first dive into our candles. Now, as I said, she is primarily a candle company. While this is a book box, it is going to be very, very focused on candles as well. Okay, so first up we get the Snow Maiden candle, which is winter mint, downy snow, winter, and fairy stories. <clears throat> Ooh, it smells like butterscotch, like little butterscotch candles, candies. <laughs> Ooh, that smells really nice. I really love candles that smell like baked goods. I don't know why. There was this candle company called Gundy and Candle Co. Um, yeah, kind of always have their candles around. They're on a hiatus right now um, due to like supply chains and the pandemic and all of that unfortunate stuff. Um, but they make all these baked good scented candles and they're so delicious. So they got me obsessed with baked good candles. So I really, really enjoy that scent. All right, candle number two. So we get midwinter wood and it smells of chestnuts, um, a word I cannot pronounce, downy snow and winter spice. Ooh, very much a very like all spice kind of scent here. Mmm. Oh, love that. Okay, and then our last candle. So every month you do get three candles, which I love. 
Um, they're a little bit smaller. I believe these are four ounce candles than what you would typically get if you ordered directly from her shop. Um, but these are exclusive to this box. Um, I believe you get eight ounce candles when you order directly from her shop, just like the single one-off candles. And of course, I will have all of her information linked down below. Ooh, mm, maybe not the best name for a candle right now. We get Russian Winter, and it smells of spice cookies, snow at the Kremlin, hot tea, and black cherries. Ooh, it does smell just like black cherries. Now, I do know this box obviously was formulated before everything that's going on right now, um, <laughs> and made before everything that's going on right now in the world, but definitely unfortunate name for everything that is happening at this time. Ooh, it does smell really, really delicious though. Okay, so let's see what else we've got. So we have, I believe this is a little soap. Ooh, it smells so nice. So we get an exclusive little light, uh, Persephone Light Coast Soap. Um, and it says, happiness is handmade. A machine did not make your item, a human did with lots of love and care. Ooh, it smells really nice. I don't know what scent this is, it doesn't say. Oh wait, yes it does. No, it just says that it was made with love in the Rocky Mountains by Lit Lather and Lore. Love that. Okay, then we get this little bag. Oh! So we get a tea strainer. I love these types of tea strainers. I had one and I lost it when I moved into my current apartment. And it has this cute little bead and snowflake on it. Ah, so cute. So I'm hoping we get tea in here. I'm thinking tea might be in the near future. And yes, it is. We get Haunted Nights, which is a black tea with dark plums and warm spices. Pairs well with a good book by a frosted window frame. Ah, cute, cute, cute. Okay, next up we get this art print and a bear, something or other. I believe it's a bear bookmark. It'd be kind of cool. So yes, we get this little bear with a little bird on it. This kind of reminds me of the, the bear and the nightingale. I don't know if you guys have read that. It's this really pretty um, fantasy novel. And then this is just a little poem of the pagan of a pagan snow queen. Okay, so I just read um, *Road of Bones* by Christopher Golden, and there was this like Yakushin um, Siberian folklore creature. She has like antlers, and she kind of looks like this. I forget what she's called. Because they only mentioned her name twice, but she looks kind of like this from the description that I read online. Um, so I wonder if that's her, but that's really cool. I like this print. It's very dark. It reminds me of like Xenoscope. Did you ever read like Xenoscope Grim Fairy Tales comics? That's what this art reminds me of. Okay, and then last but not least, we get the book. The book. Okay, so this is The Haunting Season, Eight Ghostly Tales for Long Winter Nights. Ooh, this is a really pretty cover. Um, and it says... Featuring new and original tales by Bridget Collins, Imogen Hermes Gawar, Kieran Millwood Hargrave, Andrew Michael Hurley, Jess Kidd, Elizabeth McNeil, Natasha Pulley, and Laura Purcell. Oh, I've heard of some of these authors. I don't think I've ever read any of them yet. So let's read the inside. So it says, eight best-selling authors return to the time-honored tradition of the ghost story in the spellbinding collection of new and original haunted tales. Long before Charles Dickens and Henry James popularized the tradition, the shadowy nights of winter have been a time for people to gather together by the flicker of candlelight and experience the intoxicating thrill of a ghost story. Now, eight best-selling, award-winning authors, all of them master storytellers of the sinister and the macabre, bring the tradition to vivid life in a spellbinding new collection of original, spine-tingling tales. Taking you from the frosty fens to the wild Yorkshire moors, the snow-covered grounds of a haunted estate to a bustling London Christmas market. These mesmerizing stories will capture your imagination and serve as your indispensable companion to cold, dark nights. So curl up, light a candle, and fall under the spell of winter's past. Oh, that sounds so good. It is currently February 28th as I'm filming this, and I am now fully in spring mode. I do think that Road of Bones is going to be the last wintry book I read this year or at least this season. So this will probably have to wait until the winter for me to get to, but I love this cover. I love this concept. Oh, I'm very excited for this. Let us now read the spoiler card. 
So we get old winter, old world winter lore. I don't know why that was so hard to say. Okay, so we get three exclusive candles. We get midwinter, which sniffs of roasted chestnuts, downy snow, and winter spices. Russian winter, again, very unfortunate name. Uh, kind of makes me sad, to be honest. Um, which sniffs of hot tea, black cherries, and spice cookies. And then Snow Maiden, which sniffs of uh, winter mint, vanilla, snow, and foreboding fairy tales. Um, artisanal items is, oh, okay. So this is the bear from the bear and the nightingale. Um, and this is a bookmark by L. Mary E-A-A-I-J. <laughs> I'm not sure quite how to say that. Um, I loved the bear and the nightingale. It's a very, very slow burn story but it is beautiful um so i'm very pleased with that uh we get the exclusive handmade soap um by lit oh lit lather and lore i don't know why all of a sudden that was so hard to read this smells delicious like oh my god mm. we get uh an art print of the pagan snow queen from gemlin c by pick printing and then we get exclusive high quality vinyl sticker, Winter of the Witch, and the mini Santa Ghost sticker. Um, and then we also get uh, the featured book. Oh, and then she added bonus items. She added the tea blend of Haunted Nights and the Winter Lore Tea Ball um, as a thank you for this box being delayed and the patience of her customers. And she does have a little note that says customer appreciation. I have the most wonderful customers. I want to offer my sincere gratitude for your patience in awaiting in this gift box. I hope that these bonus items will help to show this gratitude for your understanding and kindness during what was a difficult time for myself, my family, and my fledgling business. Kindness regards, Sarah. Love that. Okay. So I'm very, very happy with this box. Um, again, I think the theme of some of these candles, uh, it's maybe not the best time to have them, but again, not, uh, Sarah's fault as no one knew what would be happening in the world right now when she made this box. But I do quite enjoy this. This print is very, very up my alley. This bookmark is going immediately into this book. This book seems so fun. I've never heard of this. I'm like excited to read some new authors and I do really just love this cover and this concept. The tea is great, the tea strainer is so cute, and the soap, it smells so good. And at the end of the day, we get three candles again. They're all very um, like wintry scented. I am happy that she strayed away from it being, um, again, more Christmas focused as it was originally intended. Oh, it does smell so good though. Um, but I will probably hold off on these candles for a little bit, just until like it gets more wintry again. I'm a very much a mood candle burner and a seasonal candle burner. Uh, but I do love this box, definitely worth the wait. I will definitely be picking up her spring box. I know that it was originally supposed to be released in March. I think it's now gonna be released in April so that you're not getting boxes back to back and she has like time to you know curate them. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. Again, I'm. And I will have all of her info linked down below. She does have some really, really fun um, one-off candles. This box actually might still be available if you were interested in it. And yeah. Anyways, that is all that I have for you guys today. As always, I post every Monday and Thursday, sometimes on Saturdays. And I will see you all in the next one. Mwah.